Welcome to the fourth film in the series of I'm Not Just a Hairdresser. Discover your passion. Our guest today will show us how to discover and follow a dream. Realizing that talent without desire does not have power or direction, but when fueled with passion and relentless determination to succeed, dreams shift from fantasy to reality. Robert Chromians, Mary Brunetti, Beth Minardi, and Chris Sorby are icons in our profession. Their story, from humble beginnings to victory, is a story to be told, a story of inspiration, a blueprint mapped for success. Discover your passion and let the force be with you. And welcome to Discover Your Passion. Yeah. Such pressure, these three beautiful women looking at me. Discover your passion. Uh, I love being a minority in a dominated industry by female talent. So we have three of the most highlighted and profound guests today. First, Beth Minardi, who in her second life, when she comes back the second time, is going to be a color chart, a swatch book. Uh, uh, next up, we have a lady called Chris Sorby. And I would say out of all of them, I've had the opportunity to travel with Chris. We've been friends for many years, spent times in bars. We didn't drink, we just hung out, held hands. Uh, just an incredible lady, I can't wait to hear your story. And uh, a lady called Mary Burnetti, which I just found out, I thought her name was Burnett, and now I find out it's Brunette, which is a great stage name to be in the hair industry. Uh, I used to travel with a lady, her name was Jean Bra, which I thought was a great stage name. I wanted to be Robert Jockey Shorts. Uh, <laughs> It's something that comes totally from your heart, from your soul. And to me, passion is about never stopping trying to be better at what I do. And I think everyone who has passion and who truly loves this business stays motivated. Every, I see a lot of wonderful young kids in this audience, who young professionals who want to get into this. Passion has to be coupled with a lot of, of love and commitment and desire. And consistency. Yeah, and discipline. Discipline, not so good at that. I think a truly passionate person stands the test of time, and that's how we know if somebody truly has it. You know that little voice? Do you have one of those? I have this little voice that talks to me that says, no, you can't do that. <laughs> There's no way you're going to be discovered. They, they'll realize you're really no good at what you do. And it's, it's kind of shutting off to that voice. It's about believing in yourself. This is where my job gets to pay off. I've seen you get a little emotional, so I'm going to distract you, misdirection. What do you think it takes to make a great picture? Um, sorry. <laughs> I just get overwhelmed. I... Her tear ducts connected to her <laughs> bladder. <laughs> it's just overwhelming what, what your passion can lead to. It's truly overwhelming. It's about, I'm just a hairdresser. Uh, I remember hearing in one of our schools uh, a mother talking about a child and she says, Mom, I'm going to beauty school. And she says, that's okay for your sister. She's not so smart. Uh, this is an industry we have to defend. And the best way you can help our industry is not just being successful for your own means. It's for the industry and the kids that come in behind us. I think this foundation is incredible. I think the empowerment, especially today on women, which is so underrated and under-celebrated in our industry. And that's what really, when Vivian mentioned the idea, I was just so excited to be part of the girl power. I'm the male version Spice Girl. I'm in the band. <laughs> uh, I remember watching first the, the first episode of I'm Not Just a Hairdresser. Um, and yesterday I seen a tape that just touched my heart. It's a view, Chris. We're going to show it right now. I remember a time when I was at a party and at that party there were a lot of doctors and someone asked me what I did and I said, um, I can't even say it. I said, I'm just a hairdresser. That was a long time ago because 
I still know some of those doctors and um, they're not as happy as I am. And what being just a hairdresser has given me in the 39 years that I've been doing it is a lot more than they got out of doing medicine. And I'm not putting medicine down. I'm just trying to make a point that um, we're very special people. Because, um, because we